Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Oh, what a nice breeze just coming through. Now I have a beautiful cup of coffee right here. Just brewed it, fresh ground Stumptown French roast, dark roast coffee, just what I need. Now here's a toast to you, here's a toast to me, and here's a toast to everybody, oh yeah. So, let me just get another sip and we'll continue the video. There's some good stuff right here. Mm. Oh yeah, some good stuff. Now, there's gonna be a little bit of everything in this video, but mainly, we're gonna be doing a breeding video. I got some girls that are shedding, so I'm not gonna breed everybody, but we're gonna be pairing, I believe, Eleanor with Cactus. We're gonna be pairing Pumpkin with Riddler. Now, Pumpkin and Riddler and Eleanor and Cactus both paired last week. Successful lock, so we're gonna be pairing them again this week. It's been about nine days since I paired them. And since we're pairing Pumpkin and Riddler again, I'm gonna be shipping out a snake that was produced from Pumpkin and Riddler from 2023, ordered on Morph Market. Now there's a lot of babies in that clutch and this one was overlooked. This was one of the nicest ones in the clutch so I was surprised it was overlooked. Nice deep maroons, really beautiful snake. So I'm gonna finish this coffee. I'm gonna show you the snake going out, go to FedEx, drop her off, and then we're gonna start breeding snakes. I might even start upgrading a couple of snakes. I got a shipment from Freedom Breeder, some bins, so we're gonna do a lot today. Stay tuned, oh yeah. I don't know what they put in these coffee beans, this particular batch, because I've had other ones, but this particular one got me nice and wired up. I'm feeling really good. I'm gonna get that first snake so I can show you the snake that we're shipping out. This is some really good stuff. I'll be right back. So the birds are chirping right now. Everything is just perfect. That breeze coming through real nice. Oh. Now this is a female from 2023 from pairing Pumpkin, my reverse Abbott's Okatee with Riddler, my extreme Abbott's Okatee. So this girl is het for Amel and she is beautiful. Really, really nice. Now this one was overlooked. A lot of people we're buying on Morph Market different extreme Oka teas from this clutch. And ever since I posted her, ever since she came out of the egg, I just thought she was really, really special and a little bit different than some of the others. Why, you may ask? Look at her saddles. They seem a little bit bigger than some of the other babies and the depth of color in the saddles. It's like a more saturated burgundy, more than just the typical maroon on the Extreme Abbott's Okatees that I have. So it really pops. Now towards the tail, this girl's extreme and she's pretty extreme throughout, but she's not super, super extreme. But the colors of those saddles are just amazing. And towards the tail, really nice and extreme. There's a nice look at her belly and even the side patterning. It's like a work of art. And this is one of those snakes that just looks better in person. So some people may have seen pictures and not realized how beautiful the snake actually is. And you know what? If I didn't have as many snakes as I did, I probably would have held this girl back because I don't have any that have that exact color in the saddles. Now I did hold back a pair from this clutch, so hopefully future breedings, 
we can produce something like this, maybe even more extreme, but with that color in the saddles. Now I got so many snakes, so I can't keep them all. And this girl, baby number 12, was posted on Morph Market. I still have a couple on Morph Market, not, not many left. And this girl is going to North Carolina. So let's wish her a safe travels to North Carolina. Just a beautiful, beautiful girl. And after I go to FedEx and drop her off, we're gonna start this video off with a bang. I'm gonna pair Pumpkin with Riddler. The same pairing that produced this girl. We're gonna start that off right away. Oh yeah. So this is my business card and this is actually Riddler. This is the sire, the dad to the girl going out today. All right, so now I'm back home and we're gonna start breeding. We're gonna start with this buckskin Okatee. This is Eleanor. Now she paired with Cactus about eight or nine days ago. I have it written down in my book. And if you look, you can start to see scale separation. She's looking nice and swole. So we're gonna pair Cactus again with her. This is round number two. Now the sun's starting to go down, so it's a little dim in the room, so bear with me. So there's Cactus. You see that nice halo green around his saddles now. He might shed out in a couple of weeks. So there we go, introduce him, see what happens here. We got that nice paper towel down. I'm gonna close this up, give him a couple of minutes to get reacquainted. Oh yeah. So now Cactus getting on top. The tails, oh there we go, there we go. Oh yeah, just what I like to see. So now we're in progress of a lock. Tails have connected. So the tails are locked. This is a second confirmed lock. And hopefully this girl drops some beautiful eggs, fertile eggs. Can't wait to see what the babies look like from this pairing. Now I'm gonna let these two lovebirds do their thing and I'm gonna give them some privacy, oh yeah. So taking a quick peek on Pumpkin and Riddler, they're still locked up. It's been about 10 minutes now, still locked up. So they should be done in a little while, but they just make a beautiful couple. Hopefully we get a nice clutch of eggs this year and some beautiful, beautiful babies, oh yeah. All right, so Riddler and Pumpkin are done. And you see evidence right there of the lock. We've seen it, but there's the evidence. Now I'm gonna take him out. And tomorrow, give him a day rest. So tomorrow, they'll be pairing with, they'll be pairing with Paprika. All right, so now I'm gonna be putting Riddler with Paprika again. Last night. He paired with Pumpkin. We had a successful lock. I removed him, put him back in his enclosure. Nice night alone to rejuvenate. So now I'm gonna put him with Paprika and that beautiful female that I shipped out yesterday. 
baby number 12, that beautiful ochre tea, made it safely to North Carolina. So let me go grab Riddler and I'll be right back. All right, so there's Paprika and she shut out a couple of days ago. Give you guys a nice look at them. Now the sun's bright outside. I got some blinds over here. So it kind of sheens the sun. Sometimes it makes a shadow. And you can see she's trying to get out right now. Here's a look at Paprika. She wanted to come to the camera and say hi. I kept trying to come out of the bin. So now Pearl also bred last week with Pink Panther, my male. Salmon Snow Tessera from Lee Abbott Stock. So let's introduce him again. And this guy is super, super pink. Beautiful, beautiful snake I picked up from Lee Abbott. I think that caffeine that I had from the Stumptown coffee is still in the air and it's set in the mood for these beautiful corn snakes tonight. Oh yeah. And look how pink Pink Panther is compared to Pearl, but Pearl has that beautiful white pinkish skin with those beautiful motley pink pattern, just amazing. Amazing looking girl. Sometimes it's hard to see how pink he is when he's by himself. But once you put him next to another snake, easily tell. Super, super pink. All right, guys, so we got a confirmed lock with Pink Panther and Pearl again. So things are looking good tonight. I'm going to close this up and uh, let them continue what they're doing. So I've been juggling between Crimson and Vegas to pair with Nevada. So far, no locks. Crimson, a nice Miami Amel head blood red. From VMS Herps, if these two would appear, love to see the babies. He would incorporate orange into the Miami. Really interested to see what that would look like. But so far, no locks. And we also have Hazel and Mohawk. Now this pair, so far, getting along beautifully. Just hanging out. But no luck. No locks yet. So I'm just going to cohab them. See what happens. Maybe the time is just not right yet, and when she's in the mood, she'll let him know. She'll send the signals, and maybe magic will happen. Oh, yeah. So now Riddler and Paprika just hanging out. No locks today yet. Now, I've heard of breeders that will take a male, put him with a female, and if they lock, he'll remove that male, put him with another female, let them lock, maybe even put them with one more female all in the same sitting but i like to you know give at least eight hours to a total 24 hours let the male just relax rejuvenate so that's what i did now i got an order in from freedom breeder i'm going to show you what i got and we're going to upgrade a couple of snakes on camera let me show you what i got here Take this off. All right, so I got 
250 deli cups. These are for the smaller V15s or Freedom Breeder 8s, FB8s. These are great to have on hand. I used almost all the ones that I have now, so that'll last me for a while. And here we have 10 FB35s. And these come at a maximum of 10 per box. If you want more than 10, you gotta order a second box. So 10 was the most you could fit in one of these boxes. So I got 10 of them and that'll fit just what I need in the rack. All right, guys, let's take a look at these bins. Show you what I like about them. Freedom Breeder does it right. They have the built-in water bowl holder. So you fit that plastic deli cup right in there, fill it up with water. You don't have to worry about the snake tipping over the water. And right here, you get those pre-drilled holes looking nice and sleek. Trust me, if you don't have the proper equipment and you're trying to drill holes or melt holes into these bins, really, really tedious. Now Vision used to not have any holes. They didn't have the built-in water cup holder. Now they offer it. I believe they charge a buck or two more for those options, but I know Freedom Breeder gets it right every time. And these are perfect for juvenile colubrids such as king snakes and corn snakes. I do have some males that really stopped growing at around three feet. So those could live in here comfortably. And we're gonna upgrade a handful. I got 10 of these bad boys. And I got some snakes in V18s, which is half the size. So we're gonna do some upgrading. Oh yeah. All right guys, so I'll put some Sandy chip in the bin and this is how you do it. Boom. That's the deli cup. It comes, you could buy these on the side. I already had a bunch of them, but you can get packs of 50, packs of 100, however, you, however many you need. And I use nothing but the best, only the finest spring water for my snakes. So this is candy cane produced by Carol Huddleston. This is actually a candy cane. That's the morph. That's not his name. I actually never named him. Take this label off. And there is the candy cane male. Looking really, really sharp. One of my favorite snakes that I want to pair in the future. Would love to produce some amazing looking candy canes. I really love the look of this particular candy cane because in between each saddle, it's kind of like a flushed out white look. It really gives it like a candy cane peppermint effect. Some of them have solid, solid red saddles, but even as a baby, he looked just like that with that nice, it almost looks like frosting inside of the saddles. So now I got my mail albino splotch nelson's milk snake he'll probably be ready to breed in about a year or two i got a nice female too we're upgrading but she's deep in shed and ramsey's growing quick in the v18 now we're gonna put them in the v35s oh yeah So the bin that was on the very, very bottom had a nice crack in it. You could see it closer on the other side. And I used the spray super glue that I had. You could see the way it dried on it. 
the residue, but from afar, you can't really notice it. It's just up close. I could have complained and sent an email with pictures, but nine out of 10 bins were perfect. With the glue, it works perfectly. The snake can't escape, so I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. And uh, that should do the trick, that super glue. Just make sure it dries fully. And then I spray it down with a little Dawn dishwasher soap and water just to get the smell off any excess residue. And that's about it. And there is Magneto. Salmon Snow Stripe. Look at the markings. He's from Carol Huddleston's Champagne line. And he is just really, really pink. And those markings on him are just amazing to look at in person. And probably by next year, he'll be ready to breed. All right guys, another day is in the books for me with breeding. It's a lot of work pairing snakes. Some of them just right away are locking and a lot of them aren't interested or they seem to be moving around, but there's no locks, so it's okay. I definitely got some great, great locks and some I haven't seen anything yet, but maybe they locked when I wasn't looking, we never know. And you know what? If they didn't all lock, that's okay. That's less mouths that I have to feed when all those eggs hatch. And you know, I just do this for the passion, for the fun. I enjoy collecting snakes, working with snakes. And now I enjoy seeing when you pierce snakes, what they can produce. And you know what? There's no pressure. This is just for fun. I don't do it to pay my bills. If I do sell a decent amount of snakes, I upgrade my racks, I put it back into the snakes, and if I really do well, I might take one vacation, or I'll go to Daytona for the expo and spend a little bit more money on a beautiful snake, but this doesn't pay my bills, so that's the beauty of it. There's no stress. Now, I'm hungry, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm too tired to cook. I'm gonna go down the street and get some delicious beef lo mein and that coffee. Stumptown, ooh, just got me feeling great. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll continue to give you updates. Until the next one, be safe.